Hello, my fabulous fifth graders. This week, we've been using ratio tables to help us with multiplying decimals. Yes, our fabulous ratio tables are so fabulous because they do a lot of stuff. And um, we have been having fun using this tool to help us um, go through a couple of difficult problems. Now, what we're gonna look at is summer. Oh, I'm thinking nice, warm summer days, looking out upon all this snow I have. Now, um, for this activity, we're gonna be selling stuff, okay? And I got my friend Yui here, and she decided to sell some cupcakes to earn money, and maybe she's giving it to her local dog shelter. Hopefully, we shall see. Actually, we don't know. We're just guessing. Okay, over the weekend, Yui sold six cupcakes for $2.50. Remember, when we're analyzing strategies, we wanna start off with easy numbers, things that we are already kind of knowing what the answer is. Just make sure we're using the strategy properly. Then we bump it up a notch, and that's what we're gonna do. So you don't have to write down these, um, these first two, because I have a problem for you at the end, if you wanna hold off. If you wanna go for it and have some extra practice, by all means, stop the video and go for it. Here we go. So, first thing we need to do is analyze what are they asking us? What kind of equation? What's the operation? Yep, multiplication. That's what we're doing. It is six times two and five tenths. Not too difficult, all right? We're gonna label and we're gonna write this out. So, all of our numbers have meaning. So, we wanna make sure that we are given meaning so we can keep track of what numbers we're talking about. And so, at the top, I'm going to put number of cupcakes. At the bottom, I am going to put the price of these cupcakes. And we always start with our unit price, which is one. What does one cupcake cost? And it says for cupcakes, you know, it's $2.50. Then we want to get to six. So we could jump to two and then jump to four and just double and double and then add those together. That would be super easy, but we've been working with powers of 10, so I'm going to jump to 10. And then we know that when we multiply anything by 10, we are pushing it up a place value. Our two becomes 20 and our 50 cents becomes $5 and we end up with our $25. Excellent. Now, how do I get back to six? Well, I'm going to use that other strategy. Five is half of 10. And I'm going to split 25 in half to find what five is. Now, 25 is not the easiest number to split in half, but you can do it. And especially if you just write it down and break it apart. So I'm dividing 25 in half I'm going to break it apart into 20 and 5. This way I know that half of 20 is 10. If you're still stuck on 5, then you can always break it apart into 4 and 1, and then do half of 4 is 2, half of 1 or 1 dollar is 50 cents or a half, and then you have your 250. So we're going to add 10 plus $2.50, and we end up with our $12.50 for 6 cupcakes. Good job! Now we want to get to six, right? So we have one more step that we're going to do. What is it? Yep, we just add our five and our one together, right? So then we're adding 1250 plus 250. Line up your decimals and we add our 50 cents together, get a dollar, carry your one over, and then we have one plus two plus two gives us our five, and then we have our 10 for 15. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. All right, good job. Now, if you wanted to just go ahead and double check this using the standard algorithm that we just learned, then by all means, go for it. Um, but we will be using standard algorithm later on um, in a couple of following weeks. Don't forget to finish your equation that you wrote down. Now, this one, we have Caleb. He's walking dogs, and we took how many dogs did he walk in one week? 26 and each dog he charged $4.25. So we're gonna calculate how much he would make for um, the total. So what we're gonna do, multiply, excellent. And we write down our equation. We have 26 times $4.25 or 4 and 25 hundredths. Alone, that might look difficult, but we're gonna use this fabulous strategy to help us out. Remember, we wanna label our um, rows so we have the number of dogs we walked and then the price, okay? For one dog, we said it was $4.25. Excellent, I wanna to get to 26, so I am going to jump to 10 and move that place value over and end up with $42.50. Then I'm going to double that. So I'm just gonna add 42.50 plus 42.50. You wanna double check and multiply it by two, go for it. It gives us 85, because 50 cents plus 50 cents is a dollar. Um, 42 plus 42 is 84, 84 plus a dollar gives us 85. 
then we are going to get half 10. I love that strategy. And we have $42.50, which is actually pretty easy to um, divide in half. We know that um, half of 40 is 20, and we also know that half of two is one, and half of 50 cents is, yeah, one quarter, because it takes two quarters to make 50 cents, right? So we have our dollar 25. And then we just add them back together, we have our 21, 25. $21.25 for five dogs. Now we want to get to our 26. How can we get to 26? We have five, we have 20, we have 10, we have one. Where are we going to do? Yep, I have 25 here, right? And then I have one over here. So I'm just going to add these three groups together. And I'm going to start with the smallest and um, add it to my group of 20, which is 85. So I'm going to say 85 plus $4.25. And I put in my zeros for place value holders to line up all of my digits and make it nice and easy. So I can see that 25 plus zero is 25 cents. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. And then five and four is nine, and eight plus zero is eight. So we have $89.25. Now I'm gonna add that to my group of five, right? So $89.25 plus $21.25. Again, line up your place values. We have our decimal point to help us here. And we have 25 plus 25 is 50. And then we have our 9 and 1 is 10. Carry that 1. 1 plus 8 plus 2 is 11. And we do it. So we have $110.50 that he made in a week. Fabulous job, Caleb. Don't forget to finish your equation. Now, here's the one for you. We have Cassie. And she sold lemonade for $3.25 a glass. So if she sells 21 glasses, how much money would she have made? Use your ratio table. You don't have to use uh, five is half of ten for this strategy. Just make it pretty simple. Try to do the least amount of steps as possible. Don't forget to write down your equation and turn it into me on Monday. Okay, look at your sticker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was a lot of fun and the strategy is excellent. Will prove it will definitely help you when you start with division of decimals and just keep that in mind. Have a great weekend guys. Bye.